and welcome back to Conscious Migration. You know, so often I find ancient ideas in religions like Christianity that hold extraordinary merit at the core, but because these truths are often buried beneath layers of dogmatic customs and blind adherence to ritual, they're becoming forgotten and lost by the wayside. Today I want to explore the Catholic ritual of being absolved of your sins through the act of confession, because there's a powerful healing that can be tapped into at the heart of this old custom. So I invite you to spend a few minutes listening to an atheist explain why some parts of religion shouldn't be altogether dismissed. So with that said, get comfortable, smoke them if you got them, and get ready for today's episode of Conscious Migration. You can. <laughs> is that how this works? Yes, this is a confessional. People confess their sins here. Oh, so it's kind of a free-for-all? <laughs> Old school Catholics are famous for this wonderful little tradition of theirs where, as long as they admit to a priest every bad thing they've done, no matter how awful, they can say a few Hail Marys and they are right with the Lord. Done. And yet, the Catholics are also known for wrestling with massive amounts of guilt, so clearly this ritual of theirs wasn't terribly effective. Of course, it doesn't take an ethics professor to point out the multitude of moral issues this brings up. No need to repair the damage you've done or even apologize to those you've wronged. No need to reflect on your past misdeeds. In fact, no self-improvement is necessary. As long as you've admitted to God what you've done through his earthly speakerphone and did the right song and dance, you and all of creation are in harmony once more. But if we wash away all the bizarre beliefs and ritual from this custom, we're left with a powerful idea at the core, that no matter what mistakes we've made, no matter what we've done, we are all worthy of entering a state of utter peace and forgiveness. That can be hard for many of us to accept, not just for others, but for ourselves. Some will even claim it's absolutely impossible, which isn't true, no matter how much they think they should say that it is. The things they've done in their past are just too awful to be deserving of returning to our natural conscious equilibrium, the enlightened state, which is more than just our birthright, it's an unavoidable state of awareness we're all, each in our own way, migrating back to. This is what you do, and you can do this anywhere, as long as it's, it's at a place that's relatively free of distraction. There's no need for a church or a confession box or a priest. Allow yourself to enter a meditative state. I've offered many meditation techniques on this channel, so check them out if you need to. The eye of the storm of all the internal dialogue is where we are trying to rest our attention. Once all the swirling dust of the mind has settled, I want you to immerse yourself in this perspective. I want you to imagine that everything you've ever said and everything you've ever done out of pain or hate or ignorance, any act that hurt someone else, even yourself, is now resolved. Every action, every choice was made using the best tools and knowledge you had at your disposal at the time. I want you to feel the sensation of being worthy of the highest degree of forgiveness possible. Say to yourself, out loud, I am forgiven. I am whole. I am healthy. I am complete. Even if you rationally don't believe that you deserve that, you need to set that aside for the moment for this practice. Find that place of perfect forgiveness for yourself 
and allow yourself to rest there as long as you can. This may take many repeated attempts to be able to remain open and passive to this perspective. This is not easy for many of us. And many of you are going to ask, as you should, wait, how is this any better than the confession box? Aren't you just letting yourself off the hook for all the terrible things you've done, just like the Catholics? Here's the difference. We should consider entering the state of awareness as simply the necessary first step to healing the past. You're healing yourself first before you're attempting to go out into the world and make amends for your past behavior. Most of us get that backwards. You have to personally find forgiveness and healing for yourself first before you can ever hope to truly offer the world something more constructive, more compassionate, more enlightened than what you manifested in the past. Only once we've healed ourselves can we effectively speak and act in a way that brings healing and enlightenment to others. We're often so eager to go out and change the world, but we will fail again and again until we start with accepting peace and forgiveness for ourselves. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, pop them into the comment section below. And, you know, maybe do that like and subscribe thing. That always helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything, and it does send that message to the algorithm gods that there are people who like more thoughtful content. Until next time, everyone, peace and love.